मेक सूरन का सब्जी और दैट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज एलिफेंट्स फूड हियर आई हैव पील्ड एंड डाइस्ड द एलिफेंट्स फूड दैट इज सूरन and three potatoes i have taken which i have again diced into half these i am going to steam cook in the cooker up to 6 whistles so i'll keep the vegetables in a utensil and put it into the cooker with a bowl of water into it and then pressure cook it up to 6 whistles meanwhile the vegetable is getting cooked i'll prepare the paste for which i have taken one large size onion around one and ginger and 15 to 20 garlic cloves which i am going to grind i'll also add one piece of cinnamon stick four to five cloves and four to five black pepper add all the ingredients in a jar add water as required and then i'm going to grind it after the vegetable gets cooked remove it from the cooker put it in a plate and let it cool down peel off the potato and dice it into 1 inch size even the suran will be cut into small 1 inch cubes you can see the vegetables here are cut and it is ready for the curry so first i am going to shallow fry the potato and suran pieces till they turn golden So heat up a pan and add around seven to eight tablespoon of oil to it. Add the vegetables into the heated oil. First, I'm frying the potatoes. Fry till they turn golden brown in color, and then I'll remove it from the oil. Keep the flame on a medium heat while frying. You can see the potatoes are done. Now I'll just remove it from the oil, and I'm going to fry the suran pieces. Now I'll add the suran pieces into the oil, and fry till they turn golden in color. Keep on tossing it up at regular intervals. It should be evenly fried from all the sides. Many people don't like this sabzi but trust me guys th this recipe if you follow the vegetable will really taste very nice and very good Now you can see here the suran pieces are also fried I'll remove this two from the oil and now I'm going to start making the curry Now into the leftover oil which should be around 3 to 4 tablespoon add a pinch of asafoetida one bay leaf which i have broken into two pieces two red chilies which i have diced into two pieces now saute them for around 30 seconds keep the flame on a low heat otherwise the spices will get burnt add 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds and let it splutter then add one medium size onions chopped and let it turn into golden brown in color after the onions are done add 2 tablespoon of the paste which is prepared and cook them till it starts to leave oil from the sides for dry spices add 1 tablespoon of red chili powder 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder 1/2 teaspoon of garam masala and 1/2 teaspoon of coriander powder cook them for around 30 seconds and then i'll add puree of two medium size of tomatoes just grind them in the grinder and add it to the pan again cook them till it starts to leave oil from the sides till the masala is properly cooked add salt to taste when the paste is done add the fried vegetables into the pan now mix them well and cook again for 2 to 3 minutes by doing so the masala infuses with each pieces very nicely and so the sabzi will become really very tasty this vegetable can be enjoyed like this too that is don't add the water just garnish with freshly chopped coriander leaves and it is ready to serve 
सो नाउ जस्ट एड वॉटर टू मेक द करी एज पर डिजायर्ड कंसिस्टेंसी मिक्स दम वेल एंड लेट इट सिम ऑफ अराउंड फाइव टू सेवन मिनट्स कवर द लिड एंड कीप द फ्लेम ऑन अ लो मीडियम हीट सो आफ्टर द ग्रेवी इज सिमर फॉर अराउंड फाइव टू सेवन मिनट्स जस्ट टर दैम एंड नाउ आई फाइनली गार्निश विथ फ्रेशली चॉप्ड ग्रीन कोरियांडर लीव मिक्स दैम वेल अगेन सिम ऑफ अराउंड अ मिनट एंड दिस ग्रेवी इज रेडी टू सर्व सर्व इट विथ प्लेन चपातीज और इवन स्टीम्ड राइस विल गो वेरी नाइस विद दिस This vegetable is really very tasty and you can enjoy this anytime.